Okay. All right. Hey, guys. What's good? Uh, welcome. Welcome back to the episode. I mean, what? Welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 182, uh, I think. 182. Uh, the sequel to episode 180. Forgot my water over there. Good. Uh, this is already off to a great start. Um, welcome back to the podcast, guys. This is uh, this is the podcast where I shoot the sh- shoot, and uh, we talk about stuff new, you know, relevant stuff that's going on in my life and on the internet. Um, it's a it's a comedy podcast, okay? So uh, <laughs> get ready for the laughs, okay? <laughs> Warm up your uh, your your uh, your face muscles. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He said, what? <laughs> Why am I doing sound effects with my mouth when uh, we as a, a species have evolved to have these? Yeah. So beefy. I don't care, dude. This is my podcast. I'll press whatever button I want. Okay. Uh, hope you all are. hope you all are doing good. Hope y'all are having a safe, fun time. Dude, a bunch of shit been going on in uh, in my life. Um, first off, right right quick, um, I, okay, I guess I sh- a little bit of backstory, but me and Jenna, Jenna and I, um, we, at home, we always listen to, uh, we always listen to the radio, okay? Always listening to the radio. Um, we're always on the station, boom. It plays 70s, 80s, and 90s, okay? It's great. Great Toronto radio station. And it's just nice to have a... It's shitty because Spotify is so annoying because, like, I listen to the same fucking five artists. All, like, all... Not even five, like, two. Same two artists because I'm, like, I'm going to be 30 soon. I... Don't fucking give me new shit. You know what I mean? Don't... (laughs) Don't fucking... Tell me, like, yeah, this band is like really. It's, they're going to be really popular. They have like, they have like one song out. They have like a thousand monthly listeners. It's like fucking no. I don't have the time. Okay, I have the music that I've listened to that I listen to, and I know, and I'm going to listen to only that. Okay, new albums from a band that I don't know already. Shut up. Okay, you're crazy for that. You're actually a lunatic if you do that. Yeah, this this. Have you heard the new Mitski? I don't know what that is. Who is that? Who is Mitski? <laughs> Should I know them? I don't know them. Okay? And I I don't. And I feel like I'm going to get, this is going to get fucking clipped and it's going to be put on somewhere and, and everyone's going to make fun of me because I don't know Mitski because I'm, I'm an old fuck. But I don't know who they are. All right? But at, a, at a, like two months ago, I saw that they're, I saw a clip of them and they're playing in the fucking huge venue. I'm like, who is this? You know what I mean? Um... So the radio is nice. The radio is nice to combat that issue that we have. Uh, Cause it's just, it's just like, you know what? We're going to pick the music for you. You're going to listen to it and it's going to be lit as hell. Uh, you're going to go buck wild for this shit. And I, and we do. Um, so we love boom 97.3. We have for like a year, we've been like obsessed with this radio station. And uh, I said, I think a few episodes ago, I mentioned we were in New York city for uh, Jenna's birthday. And, one of the gifts I got her was a birthday shout out on the radio station that we like. Um, so I filmed when it happened and then Jenna posted on her story, tagged the radio station. Crazy shit was happening, you know, in the behind the scenes, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I posted. Sorry, I posted that video. No, Jenna posted the video and then uh, Troy at the radio station uh, apparently his child, um, they, you know, watch my videos and they're a fan of mine. Um, so they were like, yo, that's the fucking small world, dude. If you guys are down, you should come by and, and we'll give you a tour of the radio station. And me and Jenna were like fucking freaking, freaking out, dude. On the way there, I was like, yo, this is like straight up, this is straight up like being a kid. And getting a tour of like YTV, which is youth television in Canada, um, it's like getting a tour of like the fucking like Amanda Show set. You know what I mean? Like it's like a, a big if you're a kid, right? But this was an, us as adults. 
So we were fucking stoked, dude. We got a tour of a radio station. And the only, another Canadian reference here, but the only like reference I have for a radio station is the television show Radio Free Roscoe. Um, which if y'all haven't seen Radio Free Roscoe, you guys got to fucking hop on that wave really quick. That radio wave. Okay. Great show. Sky Sweetnam does the, the, the theme song. You change the rules around. You got a different sound. Tune into the underground. Because when it gets too much, you have no choice. Oh, yeah, you got to make some noise. Are you listening? Going doing all different notes. Are you listening? Yeah. We're on the air. You're listening to Raider Fee Roscoe. You know? Um... That show was fucking sick. And uh, that show's about... That's like a family channel show. Disney channel show, sorry. Everything is everything's the same in Canada, but just a little different. Um, but Radio Free Roscoe is a show, a Disney show, basically, about a, a group of kids who don't know what they're doing. They're lost. You know, they're like... Uh, they're misfits. They don't know what they're doing. They don't, they don't, they're not like jocks. They're not, you know... And they're like, what do we do? We're, we're annoyed with the system. How do we fight back? How do we make our voice heard? And this was in like the early 2000s. So they're, this is before podcasting, really. So they were like, we're going to make a fucking underground radio station. And it was sick. It became like super popular in the high school. And like nobody knew who they were. It was fu- Dude, shout out Radio Free Roscoe. Okay? Any, if anyone has any connection to any of the actors in that show, fucking hit me up, Okay? I'd love to have question mark on here or fucking Lily. Is that her name? Pronto. Shady Lane was her. And then Pronto. And then uh, what was the other guy's name? Okay, there's question mark. There was Shady Lane, Pronto, and oh, God. I got to look it up. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys don't give a fuck about this. I know you guys do not give a shit about Radio Free Roscoe. Pronto, question mark. Uh, Smog. Was that his name? Dude, Smog. Okay. All right. Well, that's that. Um, any, What was I fucking saying? Right. So we had like no... Uh, we didn't. We didn't know what a radio station would even look like, so we we're excited the whole all day, the all, like the week before. We were fucking freaking out. We we're like, "Yo, six days till Boom Day," you know, um, five days till Boom Day. And then we went over to the Boom ninety seven three headquarters, dude. Fucking so sick. Walk in there. Obviously, it's like different because, like, obviously it wasn't as lit as it usually is because of COVID. But man, to see everything there, we met like. You know, one of the, the radio, two of the DJs that were there. Um, we met KJ and May Potts. It was, dude, it was fucking lit, dude. Um, yeah, they were just, and then they gave us a swag bag at the end. Um, it was just so cool to see how they do radio in person, right? Because it's like, this is kind of like the new new age radio, right? Basically, but no, there's video, but before podcasting, when it was just audio, right? It was like the, the digital type episodic radio type thing. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say here, but it was just cool seeing how they do like all the software they had to do it. And dude, I thought my soundboard was crazy, you know, but theirs was fucking crazy. It was like six times as big as this one. Could y'all imagine if I had one of those? I'd forget. I, Mo, uh, this podcast is already me just looking for this, the right button. But if I had a bigger one, it'd be, I'd have to have a separate podcast of just me looking for the buttons. And then the other one would just be me talking, looking for the buttons with Kurt. That'd be the, that'd be the name, you know, I don't care. But, um, yeah, I mean, we got a swag bag and this is what I got, dude. This is one of the things I got a shirt, a boom shirt, you know? So I'm, I'm repping, you know, I'm rep. I got, I got to represent, you know, and yeah, it's a medium. So I'm looking fucking yolked right now. Bust, uh, busting out of this fucking shirt, dude. I usually wear a large. All right. This medium makes me look like I'm a fucking liver king right now, dude. 
I might just fucking if one wrong flex and this thing is ripping off of me, dude. My huge figure. Um, so that was fuck. That was sick, dude. That was lit. Um, so shout out Boom. Shout out the radio. Go check them out if you're in Toronto. Listen, I mean, don't go check them out, but like listen to the radio station. Um, cause like we that's like a I feel for radio. You know, this is a a lot of people say that stand up is one of the last, you know, true art forms, which is not true because uh, there's so many others. Um, that's just from like fucking old white dudes being like, yeah, this is the last avenue that we can just be openly racist and, and then it's fine. Um, <laughs> but no, man, seriously though, radio is like, you know, obviously people, more and more people go to digital. You you lose a little bit of it. You lose that... Um, there's something like reassuring and comforting about radio for some reason, right? Tuning in and you're like, you don't have a say in what it's going to be next. Maybe you hear a song you'd never hear before. Even though I just literally five minutes ago, I was like, I don't want to hear new shit, but this is different. Um, but yeah, man. Even satellite radio is like, what is that? A radio in space? What do they need it for? Just look outside. You know? You're an astronaut? That's what satellite, only astronauts listen to satellite radio. Nerds, fucking nerds, man. I swear to God. Astronauts are straight up nerds. I would bully an astronaut. Give me your space money, bitch. Give me your, give me your space lunch money. All right. Dork. Why are you even wearing that? I wouldn't, I would say, yo, I'm, dude, I am built different. Okay. If I was an astronaut, I would, I simply wouldn't need all that stuff. I simply wouldn't, I simply would not need all of those, uh, all of that gear, all that big suit. What's it even for? You guys are fucking scared of space? There's nothing there. There's nothing to hurt you there. Right? Dude, astronauts are pussies. <laughs> all right? More like Neil Arm Week. You know what I mean? F- Neil Armstrong, was that his name? Oh, it was Neil Armstrong. Lance Armstrong is the the, the, the cyclist, right? Yeah, I'm right. I'm not double checking because I know I'm right. And you, even if you, even if I'm wrong, I'll um, I'll delete your comment. Um, what else happened in my life? What else is fucking happening in my life, huh? Um, dude, what the hell am I talking? Oh, oh, dude. Okay, we gotta talk about this. Oh, I can talk about a few things. Okay, number one, um, my some of you know, I went through this whole saga, if you will, um, of when I made my video about Pokemon cards a few months ago, like a, back last year, um, and I've been super into cards, especially Digimon cards. That's how the video sort of ended. I was buying a bunch of boxes and opening them up to try to get a numbered gold Digimon card. They're very, very, very rare. Like one in every fucking, I don't even know. Who, no one knows. It could be like one in every thousand. I don't even know. Um, I was buying box after box. I was opening them on Twitch and stuff, opening them off stream. I even got scammed on one box, a resealed one. Um, And that's on my my, my, uh, gaming channel. And um, I finally pulled it a few weeks ago and it was fucking amazing and I was so excited and I decided to send it into PSA and I did. I sent it into PSA for to get graded. I didn't think it was, I honestly thought the best I was going to get was like a seven PSA seven, um, which is like, it's at, a, it's at a 10 based on like the quality of what it looks like and like, you know, centering the surface, all that shit. Um, so I sent it in, I was like, whatever, I just want it to be graded and, and it doesn't matter what grade it gets. It's going to be the only one Known to man, basically, because it's no one else has got one graded before. Um, so I didn't really care. And it came back. Came back in the mail. I opened it. And I got a nine. Uh, I mean, all my card heads, all my Cardis heads knew that over on my Instagram account. Cardis Connor. Uh, K-A-R-D-I-S-C-O-N-N-E-R. Uh, that's where I post all my card shit, but they knew. So that was so fucking 
sick. So I'm I'm excited, man. I was I was very happy with that. I don't I don't think it deserved a nine, but I'll take it. Um, because I looked up on eBay what other numbered cards are selling for. Um, I don't think there's actually been a sale, but someone is listing one for forty five thousand dollars. Um, which is absurd. I do not think they're worth that. Um, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, that's a update in the Digimon world. Maybe that is the, the end of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep opening boxes. Maybe I'll get another one. Cause I mean, Patamon, that's the one I got. Not my favorite Digimon. So I <laughs> gotta keep going until I get the fucking Gabumon one. Um, oh, okay. Movie review time. We're gonna do a movie review. Oh, sure. Um, that's a that's a noise I can use. Um, movie review. I saw the Batman. Okay, I saw the Batman, and let me tell you, I was talking to Shun about this. I haven't felt this way about a movie in a long time since I was like a kid, basically. Um. Perfect example, when I, well, two times I distinctly remember, but the first time I saw Spider-Man, like the Tobey Maguire one in theaters on my eighth birthday, um, I, like, I left the theater fully thinking I was Spider-Man. Like, I was legitimately be like, I was like with my stepdad, you know, and I like, we walked out of the theater and then. He was like, all right, let's go get in the car. And I was like, you know what? I'm actually good. I'm going to swing home. And then I just fucking swung home or sw- swang. <laughs> Isn't that that race remembered song? You know? Uh, <laughs> swung? Yeah, I sw- swang. Swinged. I. Okay, don't correct me in the comments. I'll delete them. Um, but you know what I mean? It was like, I'm that person. That movie was about me. I am Spider-Man. Uh, same as when I, after I saw Harry Potter for the first time. Dude, any stick that I just saw on the ground was like, okay, that's my wand now. And I could pick up, I could pick it up and do some tricks. I don't feel like it, but I could if I wanted to. Um, go home and fucking carve an electric, electricity bolt into my forehead. You're like, what? It's me. I'm Harry Potter. Sorry. We'll take the lot, you know? Balling out, buying candy and shit. Um, but you know what I mean? That's what happens when you're a kid, okay? You see a movie and you're like, you absorb the personality. You're like, even Max Keeble, I wanted to be him, you know? And, na- and I felt that. And I felt that when I, when I saw the Batman. I walked out of that theater, f- like, fully thinking I was Batman. It was awesome. I was like looking at Toronto. I was like, this city's falling apart. <laughs> I need to step in. I need to fix this city. Okay. I am vengeance. That's what I said. Um, but not really. Straight up though, dude, the night we le- like, we saw, we went to a late showing. It started at like 8, 8 30. So we were done at 11 30. I was a long ass movie. And then we got out of the theater and it was so foggy, like you could barely see in front of you. And that drive home, wow, felt like I was driving the Batmobile to my to my house. It was sick. I put on fucking, fucking uh, Nirvana, that song that's in the movie. And I was driving home and I was like, fucking, I'm going to catch the penguin and then the Riddler all, uh, before I get home tonight. It was fucking sick, dude. Also... Everyone was like, I'm so, I wonder, I wonder if Robert Pattinson's going to be a good Batman. It's like, shut the fuck, yes he is. You guys are so, such fucking losers. Of course he's going to, he's a, he's a, he's an A-list actor. Anybody would be a sick Batman. You know what I mean? Anyone would just do a fucking great job. Not anyone, but like any good actor, you know? And it's Robert Pattinson who's been in, like, incredible films, and he's, like, a a seasoned actor. People are like, well, I don't know about this. (laughs) Shut up. Shut up. What the fuck do you know? 
Imagine like having an opinion on that. Like and thinking it mattered, right? Well, I don't not too sure about this Robert Pattinson guy. <laughs> he's no Christian Bale. Yeah, cuz it's like a different guy. For sure he's not. Um Yeah, that's just so crazy to me like people who actually like voice an opinion about that when it's like, well, what? Don't see it then. <laughs> you know? I don't know, man. I just don't agree with the the casting of Green Goblin in a in a in No Way Home. I just don't understand it. The the casting in uh the first Spider Man with Tobey Maguire, the Green Goblin casting was on point, but I, I didn't get it for this new one. It's like that's the same guy, you know that? It's like, um, no, it's not. <laughs> this guy looks way older. It's like yeah, time. You know the passage of time, like people get older. He's like, what do you mean people get older? Like, yeah, everyone, you know, everyone sort of ages and then dies one day. I'm going to die? Then I'll never see how Robert Pattinson does in the Batman. Uh, but no, dude, that movie was fucking sick. I loved it. Uh, it might be my... Eh, Dark Knight's still my favorite, but it's... It's number two. Goes Dark Knight, the Batman, uh, and then Dark Knight Rises. And then Batman Begins. And then, er, no. Tim Burton's got to be up there, too. Uh, I don't fucking know. I'm not going to make a whole list. Um, But yeah, it was fucking sick, dude. Paul Dano. I have loved him ever since uh, Little Miss Sunshine. That is one of my favorite movies. And he fucking crushed it. He was terrifying as the Riddler in this movie. So, um, yeah, go fucking see it, y'all. It is a good-ass movie. And there's my review. But did you expect anything else? Because like I said before, every movie is a good movie. All right, there's a new segment. New fucking uh, 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 new uh, movie review segment. Who would have thought? Um, oh, I did some, uh, what else did I do? I did stand up for the first time since tour. Tried some new jokes. Tried some new material for the first time in a while. That felt really nice. Um, always scary when I do that. Um, but it went well. It went pretty well. Had a, a new joke that I might that I might bring along on the tour this summer. I don't know. Um, also, a little, uh, little hint, a little wink. Um, in regards to tour... Uh, the people on uh, the people on the very really good Patreon are um, are getting a little treat, you know, a little sneak peek, a treat into the into tour related stuff. All, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, that's gonna happen pretty soon. So, um, always good that new jokes work well. Cause fuck if they didn't, ah, I might just fucking quit. I am very close all the time. Oh, eye booger just came out of my eye, dude. That's crazy. You know what would be actually fucking insane? You know how, like, well, we have boogers in our noses. We have boogers in our eyes. We can sneeze boogers out of our noses, but we can't sneeze boogers out of our eyes. What's up with that? Huh? Let me get Hank Green back on this podcast. Pick his brain about that. Why can't we sneeze out of our eyes? Hmm? I can sneeze out of my ass. Can sneeze out of my eyes? Huh? And I sneeze? Was that the new, what, the eye sneeze? What is that, the new fucking Apple product? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> the new eye sneeze, you know? That was actually one of my new bits that went, and it went just like that. Um, all right. You know what? I'm going to do the change subjects. Oh, wait, no. This is a shitty TikTok of the week. So I'm going to play that uh, sound while I go grab my water bottle. Dude, how fast was that? Sorry. If you guys are watching the video podcast, that was probably terrifying. (laughs) 
See a guy who looks absolutely yoked in his medium t-shirt running full speed at the camera? I'm sorry for that. Um, we got a shitty TikTok of the week, okay? I'm going to have to get up soon to fucking change the camera battery, too. In like three minutes. Not the battery, but the fucking, I don't know. Hold on. Literally out of breath, going from there to here, I need to drink my water. Uh, that's embarrassing. You change the rules around. You got a different sound. Tune into the underground. Okay, so this TikTok that we're going to watch, um, it's from our boy. It's from our boy, M.G. Okay. Yeah. I'm milking him again, dude. He is the he is the content cow. Okay? He is. He's an He he comes out and he's like moo and I go milking his fucking content utters. And I go Ah, thank you. And that's and that's how my podcast works. Every fucking I swear to God, every week there's something new for him to uh, that he does that I want to make fun of. Um, and it's fine because he's a fucking celeb. He's a big time celeb, and he's fucking he's engaged to Megan Fox, and it's fine. Okay, we can all make fun of him, <laughs> not make fun, sort of poke fun. You know, it's that makes it less mean. Uh. I'm sure you guys have all seen this TikTok, um, but we're going to get into it. Let's let's go ahead and watch it. Oh, my God, guys, why didn't you tell me there was a group of emo guardians on social media declaring what's emo or not and that I didn't make the cut? Emo, 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 emo. Oh, my God, guys, why didn't you tell me there was a group of emo guardians on social media? Bro, like... This is like what, I don't know how to describe this. This is like what, this is going to sound stupid, (laughs) but if this wasn't MGK, like this is like what the weird dude that you work with at McDonald's like posts, you know what I mean? Like this is what like the weird fucking dude who's been at the same McDonald's for like 10 years who has, like, an emo band, I guess, this is what he posts. Like, dude, this this thing that sucks is, like, you could tell he, like, did the countdown for the TikTok, and then he, like, started a bit late. You know what I mean? Like, this part? Oh, my God. There's, like, a full second where he takes a breath. <laughs> oh, my God. And that fucking face... Oh my god, guys. Do the emojis too, you know? Cause we didn't I couldn't tell what what emotion he was making. Thank you for the emojis. <laughs> I couldn't fucking tell by his face. Why didn't you tell me there was a group of emo guardians on social media declaring what's emo or not and that I didn't make the cut? Emo, 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 emo. And then his hand oh. moves at the end to stop the recording. So embarrassing. Um, yeah, like, what is, is this, like, I know he's, like, trolling, he knows that this is gonna get people fucking pissed off, right? Like, he knows that people are gonna be like, dude, this is not, like, what you think it is. You think this is a serve, (laughs) you honestly think you're slaying, but you're not. This is not a slay, okay? Um... Dude, it's so crazy. Like, if you would have told me, if you would have told me five years ago that we'd be here. Uh, no, if you would have told me when I was like 13 that this guy is engaged to Megan Fox, I'd fucking, I'd freak out. I'd be like, this guy? I am weed. Like, what it... 
One more time. Oh my God, guys, why didn't you tell me there was a group of emo guardians on social media declaring what's emo or not and that I didn't make the cut? Emo, 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 emo. Dude, like, it's so fascinating how this guy was like a rapper. He was a rapper. Um, he was he was a rapper, <laughs> and then uh, he got dissed by Eminem so hard that he stopped being a rapper. And then he was like, "Yeah, I'm like a punk rocker now." Yeah, I'm like a punk rock guy now. I'm sort of like a punker, sort of like a punk guy. Um, and that's what I've always been, <laughs> and um, and that's what I always am. And I've never done rap. I've always been a punk emo guy. Um, so why? Okay, what's the caption? I'm so sorry, emo guardians. I promise I'll quit. Da, da, da. Dude, that's such a fucking lame caption, too. I'm so sorry, emo guardians. I promise I'll quit listening to anything you ever say. <laughs> got him. Um, I think I got him. Dude, that's so embarrassing. Literally, everybody... The only people who, like, listen to him, I think, are, like, like children, right? Which is fine, right? I mean, I guess I was a kid listening to punk rock, which is fine, okay? Pop punk, I mean, not fucking punk rock. Sim- I don't think Simple Plan was fucking punk rock, but... Dude, it's just so funny to get dissed so hard that you switch genres. And now, even in this genre, people are like, nah, man, we don't fuck with you. Like, you're a weirdo. <laughs> oh, man. That, yo, next up, he's going to be like, he's going to be making like ragtime jazz. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. I've always done this. I've always been a jazz guy. <laughs> he's going to do like Norwegian, like throat singing next. You know? Is that what that is? I figure out if it's Norwegian or not. I don't know. The one where it's like, I don't know, I don't know how they do it, obviously. But that's a thing. Throat singing. That's what MGK is going to do next. Yo, he just do like he should just be like, yo guys, actually like I changed my mind on the whole punk rock thing. I'm actually like a beatboxer now, straight up. He's like, sorry to all the yeah, punk rockers, dude, beatboxers, <laughs> dude. There's nothing funnier than someone seriously beatboxing. I will, and I'll die on that hill. Okay. That, to seriously be like, mm, dude, shut, what are you doing? <laughs> and then you do like the fucking record scratch, like, <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Learn an instrument. You're beatboxing? If I ever caught someone beatboxing, I don't even know what I do. (laughs) That's what, okay. Pivot a little bit, okay? Here's a pitch. So beatboxing. But it's like a boxing match. But it's called beatboxing. It's a, it's a, you know, a beatboxing ring. Two guys get in the ring in a crowded arena. And they're just like... You know, and the other guy's like, and then, and it's they're not mic'd up, okay? They're not mic'd up. You cannot hear them. They're fully clothed, um, and they're just like spitting at each other, and um, <laughs> but the crowd's going fucking crazy. Like it's so loud in there, and you can't hear the beatboxing. <laughs> That'd be cool. That would be cool. It'd be like YouTubers versus TikTokers. So okay, so if YouTuber, okay. Okay, okay, okay. If they do, if they do another YouTuber versus TikTok boxing match, it's got to be a beatboxing match, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna represent YouTube and TikTok. I'm gonna beatbox myself. 
I'm going to, the YouTuber version of me is going to beatbox the TikToker version of me. Um, I'm going to split myself down the middle and it's going to be like, <laughs> my right side is going to be like, <laughs> and, my, and my left side is going to be like, <laughs> what? Okay. Should we do some advice? Emo, 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 emo. This was him uh, editing the text on the, uh, on the TikTok. Emo, 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 OG. Where's the advice thing? Um, uh, we could do some advice. Uh, uh, Damn, I need a jingle for my advice segment. Jingle, jingle for my advice segment. My advice segment. Jingle for my advice segment. All right, besties. This is the advice segment where you send in advice and I read it. So if you guys want to send in some advice, the webs I mean the email address is very really good at gmail.com and you can stop signing me up for gay porn websites. I appreciate um appreciate your hard work, but um that's not what I'm into. So thank you for everybody to signing me up for those newsletters. Okay, first one. Ow fuck. I just hit my nose ring really hard. And also my fingers smell like garlic. Um, I made enchiladas for dinner. Okay. Uh, I hope you are well. I really love your channel and podcast, and I was hoping for some advice. I recently decided I wanted to start a YouTube channel this summer to talk about my main interest, which is Dungeons and Dragons. And I've run into a teeny tiny issue. I have no fucking clue where to begin with filming and editing videos or even what things to use or buy for it. I hoped, you could have, I hoped you would have some advice about technology since you, in fact, have a YouTube channel yourself. Uh, I'm essentially asking for any tips you have tech-wise. I would love to point... I would like to point out that I am a slight tech moron and a major procrastinator, so if you could recommend any editing tools that are not extremely complicated, tedious, I would really appreciate it. As far as cameras and microphones and such go, I was hoping you could tell me the most basic type of setup that is functional enough for the type of sit-down commentary videos that you make. I'm kind of broke, so any budget-friendly recommendations would be great. I'm not sure what all goes into it, but I thought you would probably have a lot of good input. Uh, And that was from... I don't know if you want me to use your real name or not. So I'll use the same letter. Abatha. Okay, so... Tech. You want to get into tech? You want to be a... Okay, let's get into tech. Let's talk about some tech. Uh, I think I've talked about this before. I think I've teched about this before. (laughs) No, I think I've talked about it before, but um, I think the best thing to do when you are starting out um, is just record on your phone. Uh, The cameras, if you have a phone, if you have a smartphone, if you have an iPhone, like a new iPhone... A new, not even new, like even iPhone 6 iPhone, and up, really. They have really good cameras on there. Um, so just use your phone to film, right? Um, this thing shoots in fucking 4K, 60 frames per second. That's fucking insane. It's on a phone. All you really need is like 30 frames a second. And I don't think you need 4K. <laughs> like 1080p is fine. Um, that's what I shoot in. But so if that's that's it for camera. If not, um, you could find like an old Canon on like Facebook Marketplace or something, right? Like if someone's selling the, the body and the lens for a couple hundred bucks, um, Canons are usually really good um, for just autofocus. They usually have ones that like track your fucking face and shit. That's what the React Cam is. It's a Canon ADD. Um, but yeah, I think starting off, if you're looking for a, like where do you have a budget. I do phone um, because then you don't have to buy a new thing. And then for audio, I would probably buy like a blue Yeti. Those are pretty versatile. Um, You can, there's different settings on it with like the cardioid pickup pattern. Um, And there's just a lot of things you can do with that mic. And it's very, it's pretty good quality. I, I, I was using that for a long time. Um, and it's like pretty. It's like relatively cheap compared to other USB microphones. Um, and that's the other good part. You can like record it. You can plug it in your fucking computer, and just use it like that. Um, you don't need to buy like a separate fucking like thing, <laughs> like a audio interface or anything like that with XLR cables. 
Um, so that's what I would do for audio. And then for editing, if you have a Mac, iMovie does the trick. Um, I don't know, man. If you're on Windows, though, I would probably really spend some time and learn Premiere. Um, I know, like, you said you didn't want to work with editing tools that aren't extremely complicated or tedious, but that's what editing is, unfortunately. And sorry to go Kim Kardashian on you, but, like, get your ass up and work. It seems like no one wants to work these days. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking kidding, but kind of not. Like, you need to actually, like, do the work, unfortunately. Like, you need to, if you're going to be editing, you need to learn it. You know, you need to kind of dive into it and really learn the ins and outs of a program. If you have a Mac, though, Final Cut, Final Cut fucking is annoying because it's, li- it's, like, fucking $300. Um, but... If you have a friend with Final Cut, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not saying I've done this. But if you have a friend with Final Cut on their computer and uh, you bring your computer close to their computer, uh, you could hypothetically, I'm not saying to do this, I would never encourage this, but you could hypothetically, and I would never do this, and I've never done it, um, but you could hypothetically airdrop the application Final Cut to another computer. You wouldn't be able to update it, but that that does that I've heard in theory that could work. I'm not in, I'm not saying you should do that. You you should not do that. Um uh but that is an option. But but yeah, I think and the best part if you're wanting to start filming videos, you don't know what to talk about. There's no shame in copying okay not cop not like word for word, but like you know seeing an idea that inspires you and you could Take that, do your own spin on it, okay? That's all, that's all, <laughs> that's what art is now, okay? We're just regurgitating everything else. Um, so I hope that helps. And I look forward to your Dungeons and Dragons videos because I've, I've wanted to play D&D for so long. I've had so many times that I've planned to do it, but it just never happened and it's kind of annoying. Uh, we got one more question and then we're going to keep chopping it up on the bonus episode. So go check out the Patreon uh, in the description if you haven't already. Um, but yeah. Hi, Curtis. I love your podcast and your YouTube videos. I'm subscribed to both. Uh, Thank you. So here's my issue. About a month ago, I broke up with my boyfriend of three months because I realized that he was a really jealous, jealous, clingy, but almost obsessive person. But he's a good person otherwise. He was heartbroken and I was sad about it too because I still really liked him, but I thought it would probably be for the best if we ended things. Now I'm starting to want to get back together with him because I miss him and hanging out with him, but I don't want what happened like last time to happen again. What should I do? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Um I think when you're in it, right? You um you really though like those feelings you had in the relationship are valid, you know? They're those were real emotions you were feeling and they were strong enough for you to end the relationship. And, um, I don't think you should forget that, you know, because like straight up, you could just be like, Hey, I want to, I miss you. And we could, we should work things out and maybe try again, but here's what I want to be different. And like, you know, a dude would just say anything, right? (laughs) Like dudes, uh, especially if you're in like high school or something, I don't even know how old you are, but like me in high school, I'd be like, yeah, for sure. I'll okay. Yeah, but like, who knows? <laughs> you know, you don't know if they're actually going to change, right? So, and then you're just setting yourself up for more heartbreak, right? Um, but I think uh, you got to listen to your heart, I guess, when it's calling for you. Yeah, listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going, and I don't know why. Listen to your heart. I don't remember the, the song. Uh, that's tough. I would say, because you could be like, listen, 
if you're fucking jealous and weird and fucking whatever clingy and what all obsessive even like a little bit we're fucking done okay but then you know that's the other thing it's like i don't know i think you should just remember the emotion don't i think now that you're out of it i think you're looking back at it through rose colored glasses i think um and that could be uh that could that can cause some pain you know Um, But hey, I don't fucking know. Um, All right. We'll end it there. That was that was that was okay. Uh, Thank you for listening. Um, Like the video, subscribe, check out the Patreon. I'm going to keep recording over there. And um, yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you guys next week. Peace out.